Chances are, you've probably been enchanting your armor wrong in Minecraft. Though certain enchantments for armor are pretty straightforward, such as mending and unbreaking, the various protection enchantments can be a lot more confusing. Combining protection enchantments in the wrong way can lead to an armor set that is much less effective than it could be if done right. In this video, we will be conducting some experiments to learn more about how protection enchantments work. Then, we will come to a conclusion on which combinations of enchantments make the best set of armor possible in vanilla Minecraft, and why those enchantments are so effective. Shortly after that, I will be showing all of you the best way to get these enchantments for yourself in survival Minecraft, so be sure to watch through the entire video. First, we're going to be testing each type of protection to better understand how effective each enchantment is, and which armor pieces they work best on. I've set up four different areas of damage to test enchantments on, melee, projectiles, lava, and explosions. Let's start with fire protection. We'll start off by testing how well a normal set of protection 4 armor protects a player from lava. This will be our control group. Then, we'll try on a full set of fire protection 4 armor. The results are surprising. With fire protection, you can simply vibe in the lava and be just fine. At this point, it is very obvious that fire protection is very effective against all types of fire damage. I did some more testing and found that, surprisingly, if the rest of your armor is just normal protection 4, it doesn't seem to matter how many pieces of the set have fire protection. Weirdly enough, having a protection 4 set with fire prop boots reduces lava damage just as good as having a full set of fire protection. In other words, there is no use for having more than one piece of armor enchanted with fire protection, as there is no noticeable improvement by doing so. Now let's test the blast protection enchantment. We'll start by hugging live explosives and normal protection 4 armor. As you can see, the blast nearly kills us. Now for a full set of blast protection 4 armor. The effect is only half as bad with the blast prot compared to normal prot. Again, replacing only one of the protection 4 set with blast protection seems to be just as effective as wearing a full set of blast protection armor. If you're starting to notice a pattern here, there is, in fact, a reason why this happens with the specialty protection enchantments. I'll be discussing why this happens later in the video when we discuss the best combination of enchantments for the perfect set of armor. But for now, on to the next experiment. Projectile protection is supposedly effective against projectile damage. Personally, I would not recommend this enchantment as a basic shield can block projectiles entirely, but we'll test it anyways. It would appear that by adding projectile protection to one piece of a protection 4 armor set somewhat reduces the damage taken from an arrow. However, a shield can completely block arrows if used right, and by using a shield you can bypass using projectile protection entirely and instead focus on fire or blast protection. Not only does normal protection 4 offer a bit of protection in all areas of damage, it also is the most effective in reducing the damage taken by melee attacks. To demonstrate this, we have a zombie with a sharpness 5 sword. While wearing a full set of another type of protection, the zombie nearly kills me. However, when wearing a full set of protection 4 armor, the damage taken is much lower. At this point, it seems that protection 4 would probably be more effective for use in combat as it is the best at reducing melee damage. Now it's time for the big reveal. What combination of enchantments makes the best armor possible in vanilla Minecraft? There are two main ways you can enchant your armor. The first way is just full protection, which is great for all around protection and resistance against damage. And then there's the specialty enchantments, which is where you choose one armor piece and enchant it with something other than normal protection 4. For example, blast protection or fire protection. So first we're going to have a look at the best armor for the protection 4 option. Here we have netherite enchanted with protection 4 and breaking 3 and mending. There are other enchantments for the boots and helmets that you can get, but those aren't absolutely necessary for reducing damage. Now, over here we have the specialized armor set. There's a netherite helmet with protection 4, leggings with protection 4, and boots with protection 4. Yet the chest plate itself has fire protection 4. It slightly reduces the protection 4 over all of the subjects, but it buffs the fire protection and actually maxes that out. What you don't want to do is have two fire protection because then you're not actually gaining anything, but you're still losing some protection. Here is another option for the specialty enchantment. Again, protection for boots, protection for leggings, protection for helmet. But there is, in fact, a netherite chest plate enchanted with blast protection. This is to protect you, like if you're going to crystal PvP or you're dealing with TNT, or you just don't want to be blown up by a creeper. 
Another YouTuber, EagleEye621, explains this with a really cool graphic representation. Here we have three columns, each one represents one area of damage, fire, blast, and projectile. So, each column has five blocks. Each block represents four slots for possible protection buffs. So that means protection four would fill out each of these. It would fill out one of those because it's protection four. Protection four adds four protection buffs to each area, and by each area I mean all three, so you'd have one row that'd be filled in by one protection four. Specialty protection adds eight buffs, but only in one area. So that would mean if you had fire protection, you would get two here but you wouldn't get any there. This is showing an unenchanted armor set. So here we have unenchanted netherite gear. Over here we have the first best option, which we went over earlier, which is all protection. As you can see, we have one row, we have one row filled out, we have another row filled out, and then two more rows filled out by protection. And as you can see, it's all protection there. So basically what that does is it gives you pretty good coverage over all of these areas, except for the three parts on the top. But if there's one of those you actually want to fill, like let's say you're going in the nether and you want to protect yourself from fire, or you're doing crystal PvP and you want to protect yourself from blast protection, then you would do this. This is the second best option. Instead, you just have three protection four armors, and you don't get quite as much coverage with this one, but as you can see, you do max out fire protection at the expense of those two slots. So if you absolutely have to specialize in like fire protection or blast protection, this is the way to go. This right here is what you definitely do not want to do. This is what I used to do. I used to get one of each type, so I'd have projectile, protection, blast protection, and then fire protection, thinking that all of those together would help me. It doesn't. In fact, you get worse coverage, because you have only one row of protection, and then you have two extra rows filled in by fire prot, blast prot, and projectile prot. So you end up with two rows missing. At that point, you might as well just get a single full protection, as you can see there, and you already get more coverage. So if you're gonna make armor, don't do this. I used to do this before I made this video, in fact. But do these. You wanna make sure you're using either four protection or three protection in one specialty. If you want to get this kind of armor, you're going to want to have some sort of experience. I'm on my friend's realm right now. A friend of ours, he made a big, really effective Enderman farm. It works really well. So I have quite a, amount, quite a decent amount of levels here. And you're also going to want some lapis, obviously, for enchanting. And then you can put your helmet in there. And look, what do you have? So these um, don't seem very good, obviously, because they're just the level 7 and 17. But this is Unbreaking 3, which means it has a chance to actually have an, to have Protection 4. So I'm going to get it and see what I get. That's just Unbreaking 3. So I'm going to put that in a grindstone, get the helmet back, and then throw it back in there and see what I get. Unbreaking 3 again. Fire Protection 4. If you want Fire Protection on the helmet, that is actually a really good thing. So, now I can move on to the chest plate. Unbreaking 3. Protection 4. Perfect. Unbreaking 3. Fire protection 4. I don't need two fire protection 4s, so I'm going to have to get rid of one of these. This has respiration on it, so I think I'll keep that. So for the leggings, I'll throw them back into here, grab them again, throw them back into the enchantment table, unbreaking 3 again. Nope, not very good. You can just keep doing that. And finally, we have protection 4, and this is actually a really good armor set right off the bat. And I don't know how long this took me, maybe 10 minutes with the farm there. Obviously, if you don't have the farm, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. There's Tanajura. If you don't have a farm, it's going to be much more difficult, but they're not too hard to make. And that, my friends, is how you can get the best armor in the game. That, unfortunately, is the end of today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button and click subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can stay up to date on each new video. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, check out this video. It's a video I made about getting experience in Minecraft, and I think if you're going to pursue the journey of getting the best armor in the game, it might be of some use to you.